Hey, everybody. Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a reading for the sign of Pisces. So, Pisces or Cross Watcher. Wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, please claim the energy in a helpful, positive way. or we'll leave this reading here today. Now, let's hit this. <sighs> Clear the ground for Pisces, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of Pisces. Pisces, energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field, and it could be past, present, or future. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Clearly and concisely, ancestors, please and thank you. Show me what I need to see for everyone's highest good, any planetary placement of Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Please and thank you. We are truly, truly grateful. Okay, okay. So something from the past. Ooh, Mary and Joseph. Pisces, look what you're starting the, the reading with. The fucking Ten of Pentacles. That's wonderful. Okay, so financial abundance. That's it. I mean, this is retirement money. This is an inheritance. This is a solid foundation for long-term prosperous wealth, okay? Also, you know, Ten of Pentacles, I tell you all the time, is the Disney fairy tale because it comes with the legacy and the traditions and the family and the generations, generational wealth. Now, there's a situation from the past here with people, places, and things. It's a six of cups. So, people, places, and things from the past may be resurfacing. That It seems like they're bringing in this Ten of Pentacles or it has something to do with the past. Okay, so let's see what's going on. That's nice. You could be feeling nostalgic and sentimental. You know, maybe for family right now, Pisces. I don't know. But it seems like there's something from the past, whether it's a person, place, or thing that's resurfacing. And, you know, it's bringing in this energy of abundance. I like it. What's at the foundation of the situation? Please and thank you. Okay. Oh, aggravation. <laughs> at the foundation of the situation was aggravation where you may have had to, you know, keep your temper. Like, not lose your temper with um, people fighting. Maybe there was a lot of conflict in the situation. There was disputes for sure. Somebody might have been trying to bully somebody. Now, this could have been a soulmate. Yeah, it is Sagittarius energy. Temperance. But temperance is about maintaining some kind of calm. So, it's feeling like you needed to keep your head about you. During a time of conflict with one or more people here. Somebody could have been a Sagittarius, but doesn't have to be. The 14th could be of significance. That reduces to five. We have fives across the board. Five, five, five. Five, five, five megahertz. We're going to heal any past trauma. It's also a connection to our fifth dimension. Somebody could be 55 or 56 here. I will tell you that playing for your healing sound bath in the background, Pisces. It's set at 257 megahertz, 257 hertz, because we're working on our root chakra. The root chakra is the element of earth, Mother Gaia, okay? So we're grounding. We're feeling grounded. The mantra is, I am. I am solid as a rock, okay? The base of the spine is where it's located. It's for grounding. It's for your instincts. It's for self-preservation, self-serenity, your survival, right? Any color red crystal you could think of. Uh, a bloodstone, a ruby, a garnet. Black tourmaline or obsidian, and maybe some red jasper. So at the foundation of the situation, you had to keep your head about you and not lose your temper with a bunch of assholes that wanted to fight. For whatever conflict, for whatever reason. I'm spitting all over the place. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Yep. Someone could be 64 here. Okay, let's see. Or 65 or 66, doesn't matter. What's crowning Pisces? Somebody may have been traveling. I'm seeing an airport. Something about the Golden Gate Bridge. And we got a Seven of Cups. Almost coming out in reverse here, Pisces. I got to be honest. All right. Seven of Cups in reverse. This is an energy of maybe feeling distracted or overwhelmed. Seven of Cups in reverse. You could be very indecisive about the way to move forward. Somebody could have their head up their butt and be daydreaming in the land of fantasy. Could be. Okay. Seven of Cups in reverse is an energy of maybe trying to gain some kind of clarity. Okay. Having, you know, hoping that an illusion ends and you could then be decisive in whatever decisions you're making. So what's coming in, please, in the very near future? So I'm seeing Moroccan or somebody might, somebody might like to do yoga, or meditate on a mat, on a mat specifically. We have justice coming in. Look, fairness and balance in your life. 
Something that's going to be made karmically correct. This is beautiful energy. It is Libra energy, any planetary placement, and the 11th could be of significance. So maybe something about November. This is about consequences for your actions, good, bad, or indifferent, okay? Usually when you pull it, it means that you're on the right side, okay? You're on the good side of karma. So we like a few. It's about a solution, a win-win, cause and effect. We like it. Let me see what's going on here. Some kind of fairness and balance. How are you perceiving this justice in your mind's eye? All right. You're looking at this like, ooh, you manifested this. Okay. This is something maybe that you've been working on. You know, trying to bring some fairness and balance into your own life. Somebody might have Gemini or Libra in their chart. You could just have somebody coming in that, that looks like, you know, this magician. This is somebody who's very resourceful. This is somebody that takes inspired action. Whatever that is. They're focused. They're intelligent. All right? The magician is manifestation. It's about being resourceful. So you could have been being very resourceful and you could be bringing this justice into your own life somehow, some way. Like you manifested this fairness and balance. Good for you. Something about cinder blocks. Somebody has some really nice black knee-high boots that they're wearing here. All right. So let me see. The magician is the first card. So the first could be of significance or January. Let's see what's in the actual environment, please. Gem Gemini, Sagittarius, and Libra as the most predominant. Any planetary placement. Okay. Show me what's in the actual environment for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Please thank you. By the way, Pisces, thank you very much for taking the valuable time out of your day voluntarily hanging out with us. We see you. We acknowledge you no matter where you are and who you are on this planet. We love you, okay? That's solid. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every form possible to infinity and beyond. Something about the Statue of Liberty. Now, look, you got a five of cups in your... Wow, that came out and went right back in and it came right back out again. So, I, in your environment right now, you could have some regret over something. Or somebody does, okay? Somebody could be disappointed in the situation with a five of cups here. With a five of cups here, maybe there's some kind of sadness or loss. You know, something like this. Somebody could be a little depressed, maybe. Not like like overly depressed, but like, you know... It's a melancholy energy, like like having some kind of grief or maybe feeling un uh, you know abandoned and, or unloved here. There's something about a mat. I don't know if somebody's sitting on a mat, putting a mat down, wiping their feet on a mat, putting their shoes on a mat. There's like a mat in front of my bed. Okay, so show me what's going on here. The mat on the floor. Now, Eight of Swords. Yeah, look at this. So you could be stuck up in your head. Uh, this is, or somebody is. It's an Eight of Swords. It's when you feel trapped and confined. It's when you feel like your hands are tied in a situation. Again, maybe because you're going to have to make some kind of decision here, you know, and you don't want to do this. This is too far short of a happy meal. Ready for the door was shuffle at the nut house because we're invoking all kinds of stress, anxiety, and worry and fear of ourselves. In other words, you're making shit up in your head to worry about. It's not even real. Or you're going to be. So Spirit wants to warn you of this. And if you're not doing this, somebody else is. And this is the beginnings of some kind of depression because, you know, or maybe because of this five of cups. This is, you know, the worry and fear that you're dealing with. For whatever reason, it's going to be different for everybody. Again, something about an airport. And I'm seeing a yellow chair. A yellow chair. What is this? What is the most likely outcome? Please and thank you. For Pisces, any planetary placement. Let me just, I'd like to ride the subway. They sit in a little two-seater. Wherever you are, you ride the subway. You sit in a little two-seater. Listen. The devil in reverse. Hallelujah. Capricorn energy for reclaiming back your power. And when tarot readers say that, they mean, listen. Whatever toxic shit was in your life, whether you were doing it or it was being done to you, somebody wanted to control something, you know, somebody was hooked on some kind of, you know, I don't know, drugs, sex, rock and roll, it doesn't matter. It is Capricorn energy, okay? Any planetary placement. It's also the 15th card, which could be of significance, or somebody could be 51 out there, or the 6th, which is June. This is about greed and envy and materialism and obsession, whatever the fuck it was, you got control over everything now. You're bossed up, Pisces. You're back in charge. Seated at the helm. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So now, you there's an, a level of some kind of abandonment here. I don't know if somebody's getting to be abandoned or somebody's just going to search for the truth. Leaving behind what doesn't serve them anymore and trying to go find those last two cups of emotional, mental, spiritual fulfillment. Right? Ooh, here comes the Knight of Cups. Somebody's stuck up in their head, though. Look at this. Now you got the fucking Ten of Cups, too, Pisces. My God. Oh, you're going to have a victory. Well, I like it for you. Wow, you got a lot of good cards coming in. Listen, somebody's going to walk away from something here, whatever it is. going to leave the shit behind. Whatever that shit is for you, it's going to be different for everybody. Then there's the Knight of Cups here. Now, this could be you gallantly going after, you know, or extending some kind of a lighthearted gesture or an offer. Or somebody who's very, um, you know what, somebody who wants to seduce you. 
Let me just walk right towards somebody who wants to seduce them. Although somebody may be stuck up in their head. Something about something about red and white stripes. So maybe, like I'm thinking of candy cane. Maybe this is going to happen by Christmas, okay? There's a ten of cups here. There's emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony, the total love and support of a family. A ten of cups is also an energy of, you know, domestic harmony and a victory here. So it looks like you're getting, somebody likes basketball. Looks like you're having a victory on all ends. You've got the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. The victory card. I mean, who's better than you? All right. So let's see. Let's get you some tea, Pisces. Here we go. Show me. The tea for Pisces, please and thank you. You also have 1010. 1010 is an angel code. You can go put that into Google or Siri, whoever you talk to on the phone, and they'll give you your own personal messages. Show me. Here we go. I'm seeing some kind of lattice fencing and a brick wall. Somebody might be intimidating. Somebody might be trying to be intimidating. Don't let anybody bully you around. Kick that shit right in the bud. Somebody can just be overbearing, maybe loud, and they don't have to be exactly like trying to, you know, fight with you or anything, but... That's that five of swords, I'm telling you. See, somebody that wants their way. They don't give a rat's ass what anybody else is thinking. So shine. Maybe your shine is irritating their de demons. Pisces, I'll tell you this all the time. If you think you're irritating somebody's demons by being yourself and just shining, shine brighter. Blind those motherfuckers. Oh, my God, it's their favorite thing to do. It really is. My haters, like, and I'm talking about people I know in real life. I'm not talking about anybody on YouTube. I don't know you, right? Well, I'm sure I know a lot of you, and whoever's got fake accounts like you think I don't know. But whatever, that's a whole other story. I know that I'm fucking irritating a lot of people's demons, and I'm going to keep irritating them more, even bigger and bigger every fucking day of my life. To the day I die, because that's what I'm going to do. How about it? Yeah, go get a pair of shades. I'm telling you, I'm going to need them. Here we go. So let's go. Right, Pisces, they're going to need it. You're going to shine so bright with this Ten of Pentacles and that Ten of Cups. Giving money. Yeah, somebody might be trying to threaten you to give them some money. Don't give anybody any money. Don't. Listen, you could do what you want. Obviously, we're all adults, but usually you're not going to get it back. I'm just going to tell you. Or you're going to have to go threatening somebody to get your money back. Like, that's just what I'm feeling, a Brooklyn situation over here. Like, if you, yeah. Like, you're going to have to go intimidating and, and, yeah, to get money back. Maybe that's owed to you. What is that? All right? Somebody might be trying to threaten you because they have to give you money or something and they don't want to. Like some kind of, yeah. It doesn't have to be like a person. It could be like some kind of an establishment. Like, here we go. This ain't shit. The whole situation is not shit, Pisces, all right? Somebody may be a tattoo artist here. Somebody definitely likes to um, doodle. Oh, I'm hearing doodle. <laughs> all right. One more for the tea for Pisces. Please and thank you, Pisces. We got one more here. Pisces. Nobody's got facts. It's a bunch of bullshit. This is what? People that sit around making a fucking shit because they got nothing else to do. Ah, oh my God. I hate people like this. I do. I'm not even kidding. So somebody likes to talk shit, but they only talk in shit because they don't know anything. They make up shit to talk because they have nothing else to talk about. Instead of taking the energy and concentrating on themselves. Somebody's fishing for comments. That's kind of getting fucking played out because, like, you know, I think you're on to them. Somebody that entices you with a conversation. I tell you this all the time. Like saying... Oh, my God. Um, you know, look at this dress. It looks terrible on me. And then you're supposed to go, oh, no, you look really nice. Not me. I go, that dress looks so fucking terrible on you. And guess what? That collar is atrocious. <laughs> yeah, put them back in their own fucking heads. That's what you got to do. <laughs> That's what you got to do, Pisces. Here we go. So, this is the hidden truths. Over here, I call these the cabin cards because I'm going to tell you, these are things that are on people's mind, you, them, several people, nobody opens their mouth for whatever reason. This is not an issue here. Okay? <laughs> yeah. My mouth gets me in trouble all the time, Pisces. I don't know. I'm trying not to. But yeah, you were the best thing in my life. So you were the best thing in somebody's life or well, vice versa. And they wish they treated you better. Yeah. Well, now. Yeah. Oh, well. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> you and I were too young, and I know I was a distraction from your pain. Oh, my God. Here we go. I'm starting to understand our connection. Whatever the fuck that was, but from over there, right? Here we go. These are some romance angels. Pisces, let your fingers do the walking, please. It's a snap. Do us a solid. Hit a button. Any button, all right? Vegas can't be choosy over here. So, if, hit the subscribe, for real, for real. And then if you hate my ass, Get on the bus. Um, you can could, you could hit the dislike and hate me every day. But if you like me and you smile, then you can hit the like. You know, like either way. It's free. It's fun. It doesn't cost you anything. And please, thank you. We really appreciate it. Okay, so here we go. Calling in your soulmate, Pisces. 
Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Let's go. What else do we have? We need to go get more coffee. I'm out of coffee. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And children. Your love life is being affected by them. You may have them. You may want them. Somebody, whatever the deal is, it's going to be a different circumstance for everybody. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic par partner you seek. Now, Pisces. Oh, you know what? We didn't give you kippers. Let's be fair and fair. Here's some kippers. Yep, that's what these are. Okay, so somebody's sorry now. Yeah, they're full of fucking sorrow. 32 or 5, May. Again, 555. Five, five. Feeling any past trauma. Connection to your fifth dimension. Give me one of the two. Here we go. Somebody can't stop thinking about you because they're fucking sorry for something they did now. You have great hope here. Look, that's the... Listen, that's the star card. Some of you need to go by the water to the beach. Maybe you live by the water. Somebody give me 63 or 36. 369. 369 megahertz. 369 hertz. These sounds of creation, manifestation, and you... Excuse me, third eye activation. You got a lot of hope. And you really do, Pisces, and that's where we're leaving it. Because guess what? You got the Ten of Cups and the goddamn Ten of um, Pentacles. Best cards in the deck. Somebody might get a letter from somebody who's sorry about what they did. Don't be mean, but, you know. Yeah. Okay. You could be dealing with some of these Aries in their chart. Or maybe you do. Maybe somebody's on the cusp. I'm hearing on the cusp. Okay, obviously Pisces, give me one more, and Taurus, so any of those planets are replacing me. Cool your emotions, honor your feelings, and your dreams need a practical plan, Pisces. Keep your heart open. So you got the first quarter moon twice, Libra, Pisces, Aries, or Taurus. Now let me get you some letters, Pisces. Here we go. All right, Pisces, here we go, show me. Thank you, guys. We love you so much. BJ's. BJ's on a Sunday. <laughs> I got to go to BJ's and get some stuff. That's like a real store. But, you know, you can take it for what it's worth. Because you know the first thing I think of when I see the, those letters, right? And I don't care. That's right. That's what I do. You got two blanks. Somebody, <laughs> somebody two blanks. Maybe during, you know, whatever. Listen, BJ and HD. I, all right, so head... <laughs> Led, I don't know, L E A D. Yeah, listen, listen. Okay, B J H D L A E three eyes. Three eyes means open up your third eye chakra, okay? And also keep an eye in the back of your head that you need to. And you got two blanks. All right, close the energy. We love you. Thank you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Calm is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.